Okay, so video number two. So we want to mark up our fabric. So whichever method you're using, whether it's paper and you're tracing over the top, choose whatever uh, product you've got really to do your marking. So what I'm going to do is I've got a piece of navy blue cotton. Now, if I hold it up there, you can see it's a very open weave. So this is for Sashiko and I've got a couple of blocks. One I did years ago and I've never done anything with it. So that's the pattern on there. So there's no wadding and there's no backing. So this method is to create the pattern. It's not creating um, uh, to, to bring our fabrics together. So this is, this is slightly different. And this is one I've been doing since we've been off. Oh, I just found the needle, I was looking for that. Uh, so I've got that one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little product with these. I'll probably make a table run and join the three together. So I've got my spare square. Again, you can see how open weave it is. So it's actually really easy to sew. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these free templates. I folded my square into quarters and on the edges of the template there's little marks to line up. So I've put those in place on here. Then I'm using my Chaco pen and I just go through the spaces and mark them up. Now, if you're doing a big piece, it might be easier to do this a quarter at a time rather than do the whole thing because obviously the chalk rubs off. Um, if you're doing it with a pencil or a pen, it will stay in place. Obviously on the dark piece, I've got to do it with a light colour, but you could use a, a white pencil. So when I've marked, I've marked up my section. Maybe if that's, I'm not sure whether that's coming through. You can see the chalk outline. So I've now taken a length of, I'm using this sashiko. It's not white, it's unbleached. So it's got a, a slightly beige color, I would suggest. Um, you can use white. In sashiko, it's, it's always a very, very strong contrast. So if it's white fabric, you, they use navy blue, not black, navy blue thread. And if it's navy blue fabric, you use white or this unbleached. And uh, obviously I'm doing this left-handedly, so you're gonna have to, mind you, it might work out better you watching it that way. I've put a knot in the back, pull it through from the back, and just get into a nice rhythm. Try to keep your stitches as even as you can and just thread them onto the needle pull the thread through now we're not pulling tight because we haven't got a wadding so we just want it to sit flat but I say the, try to keep the stitch length as even as you can and just follow the lines around until you've completed all of it. Now on a quilted piece, so say this was a section on a larger quilt and you've got say a corner or um, an area that needs some quilting in it, then this will be quite tricky to see. I've traced the design onto the single piece. So remember just before I put the wadding on, traced it on then I've layered it, layered it up, and then you stitch through the whole of the layers. Now, the difference with this and the sashiko is that you have to pull the thread because we want to get our quilted effect. So I hope that shows up on there. Uh, so that's one piece. Now, I wanted to show you something that I've had in the cupboard for years. This was aimed for a grandchild who has been at school, well not school at the minute, but he's now in school and it's never been finished. Now this was a pack that I bought at a show and this helps. It's a piece of, it's called a whole cloth, so it's just one piece of fabric 
and on the fabric the design has been already printed so it's almost like paint by numbers because you just sew around all the lines until you've gone all the way through so on the straight lines it's just a running stitch and on the pattern part I've done a chain stitch and I say I'm not a great embroiderer but um, it's one of these things that I just pick up every now and again so it would be nice to get it finished one day but this this could be lovely so just a small section just even cross hatching would work really well okay I'll leave that one as it is